Uh, the sister, your wife is listening to this, this very lovely feeling that you want to uh, secure her future even, inshallah, after a long life. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows who's going to die first. And, uh, you know, it is not really typical that always the elder dies first, then the youngest or the parents before the children. Only Allah knows who's going to inherit who. But your feeling, I mean, it touched my heart. But in reality, when the person dies, Brother Hassan, he has no control over his wealth anymore. وَقَدْ كَانْ As the Prophet ﷺ said, when the person dies, wealth is not his anymore. Rather, the wealth becomes the property of the ears. It is uh, up to them whether to divide it innocently or to divide it whenever they want to. As a matter of fact, uh, when the Prophet ﷺ said, whenever the mayyit, the dead person dies, three things would follow him to the graveyard. His family, his wealth, and his deeds. And two out of the three would return, soon will return, his family and his wealth, obviously to, devise, to divide his wealth. So if you're talking about writing a will, the will will be honored only if it is written in line with the sharia. Like for instance, when you say, I would like my wealth to be divided according to the Sharia amongst my ears, that's it. And you're only allowed to give a wasiya to non-beneficiary ears within one third of your wealth, not more than that. And also one is not allowed to give an extra penny to one of his ears, even if it is your wife. This is after long life, after death. But within your life, for instance, you want to secure her future. So for instance, you write the house which you're living in uh, for your wife. Fine. You want to give her as much money as you want. You only have one wife. That's perfectly fine. It's your wealth. You can do whatever you like with it. When it comes to the children, you have to be fair in dividing you know, your wealth or giving gifts or properties to your children within your life. But the best is when the person dies to write down, please divide my wealth according to the Sharia. End of story. So if the, if the children uh, decided, you know what, our dad just passed away and our mother is by herself, let her enjoy everything and uh, wealth is entirely hers, that is their decision. But you cannot impose that on them. Why? Because the property had been officially transferred to the heirs once the person who possesses wealth died. Look at this hadith. And wallahi, I'm, I'm glad you asked this question in order to make us all realize that what we really possess and what we have does not necessarily mean it's ours. This outer garment which I'm wearing I'm wearing it and I'm enjoying it as long as I'm still alive and I'm capable to wear it. But if I die today, then my family would either contribute it, give it away to somebody, maybe one of my children if they're grown up would wear it. So it's not actually mine and so on and so forth. It keeps moving from one person to another. And this is the reality of life. This is the reality of life. So what we need to do is, uh, one thing, you can give your wife within your life, whatever you like. Number two, write your wasiya that your will should be divided according to the sharia. Ah. And number three, you're not allowed to write any wasiya to non-ears, more than one third. Number four, that you're not allowed to write or give any extra wealth or gains or gifts to any of the ears in the wasiyah and your will after death. Barakallahu feek.